A lot of people got something to say about the fact that I got six kids with six different men. So I'm just going to tell y'all why it is better to do it this way. If I had six kids with all the same dude, I get 34% of his income, which is only $680 a month. If I got six kids with six different dudes, I get 17% from each one of them, which is $340 a month from each one. $340 a month times six baby daddies is $2,040. Welcome to the cesspool that is TikTok. Now, I've recently come across this term, passport bros. I must admit, I did spend a few minutes thinking this was actually a creator called Hello? passport bros rather than a whole movement. So if you're like me and have never come across this term, I will explain. Passport bros is basically where men seek wives and girlfriends from other countries. Now, the exciting news is that I've discovered that I have a few brain cells, which leads me to know that there's no problem with Western men or Western women dating Asian men or Asian women. But let's listen to the word on the street. Why do you think so many men are traveling overseas to find wives in other countries? Look, three seconds in and she already looks disgusted. This isn't going to go well. Men are traveling overseas to find wives in other countries? Why? I'm right here. I'm single. No, no, Why? No. I want to be married. Right, but I'm saying, do you see typically see women traveling if, if overseas if to find husbands? men are traveling overseas to... to countries that have less money and less education it's because they want a woman who is dependent on them for their livelihood for their resources to have a good life and I don't think that that is a good thing ladies 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 mentally stable men do not want women to be dependent on them for their resources full stop it doesn't matter if he is in the US or in the Philippines. The fact that so many Western women now expect men to pay for everything just because they're men is one of the reasons out of many why men are choosing to date in other countries. Modern feminism has brainwashed a generation of women to contribute less and less to a relationship while also expecting more and more. Why would any man share his resources with you when all you do is take? This is true whoever you are, wherever you are, or wherever you're from. Well, you. Go away. Go find your women wherever you want. If you want a woman who barely even speaks English and just has to suck your dick, uh, go for it. That's... Well, I'm just asking on behalf of... Wow, I can't believe she's still single. What a catch. The passport bro movement in America exists because men in America, they lack motivation, they're mediocre, and women in America have to work, they get educated, and they start making money because they have to. So why would American women have to put up with a man that don't have any of those qualities? That's right, gentlemen. You heard it here first. You lack motivation and are mediocre. Instead of calling men out for supposedly not being motivated, you might want to ask yourself why. Do you realize how hard it is to not only support ourselves, but also to support you. As a single man, do you know how hard it is to continuously go up to women and continuously get rejected? Men have the world on their shoulders and they are constantly being told to be better, take the lead, and they get blamed for everything. Is it any wonder why the world is the way it is when you take a step back and see how society treats men? And this is not just younger men, but also men in their 40s, their 50s and 60s. Some of these men are treated horribly. You know what's funny about these videos is that these women seem to have a real big problem with men dating abroad and yet they continuously say that they are not interested in the kind of men that they are verbally attacking. Alright so I just found out that apparently the reason why men can't date me you know, they say they're my friends, they respect me, they care for me so much. They say I'm like the ideal woman, they talk me up, they say I'm a great mother, I'm great this, I'm the best, and they really like me, and they really like who I am. I'm a caring person, I wear my heart on my sleeve, like nothing but good things. Then, but, they say, I can't be with you because of your history and your past. We all have a past and we all have a history. The only difference is, I fucking filmed mine. Mine's on camera. Does that make me not dateable seriously yes or no yes when you pay attention to the passport bros like they're getting women from like the dr colombia yes. uh, the philippines thailand mm. like oh. women can that can speak very little english women that don't have and, education and not, women that, that need them women that need them 
Whoa, look at that like to dislike ratio and look at those comments. I think you have just upset the whole Filipino and Thai community here. Reality is that most English speakers speak English only, whereas many people outside of the Western world speak multiple languages. English is tough. I've been practicing it for 30 years and I'm from England and I still mess up all the bloody time. So if someone can speak English and it's not their native language, they are far from uneducated. I don't think men are good people. Wait, you think that now? All men. All, I don't think they're good people. Why not? For men to do things that they consider small in the flesh of like cheating, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know that that's going to destroy your partner, but you do it anyway. That's not a mistake. Mm -hmm. And just because I'm a woman, I'm supposed to accept your betrayal. Right. Have you ever cheated in a relationship? That's exactly what I was about uh, to ask. Yes, I've cheated. This stuff is comedy gold, but it brings me on to the universal point. If you are an expat and you are going to Thailand, you're going to the Philippines, etc., you also have to be a decent, high quality guy. If you're looking for a traditional woman, for example, which I know some guys are, then you also need to be a traditional guy. However, what a lot of these videos don't seem to understand is that most of these passport bros do have their shit together. They they are decent men, they look after themselves, and they are looking for a woman with similar values. From what I've seen, men are just tired of this ridiculousness of the dating scene back home. I'm done now. Subscribe.